Good morning from the North Shore coastline area of Massachusetts. I am here exploring this entire North Shore area of the state for about three days on my own. I wanted to squeeze in one more local trip before winter season sets in just because with everything going on with COVID and the cases starting just now to rise again, I'm just so worried that I'm not gonna be able to travel again for a very long time. So I'm here by myself simply because again, Josh didn't have enough paid time off to join me. So he's at home with the dogs and doing house projects and I I am here exploring this beautiful area of the state. Josh and I have been to this area together. Uh, it's probably been like six or seven years ago now. So I kind of feel like I'm exploring it again for the first time because we just packed in so much the last visit and we were here for a very, very short time. So I'm currently in Salem, which is my first destination. And I had no idea that Salem had its own little lighthouse. So I decided to get here at sunrise. The sun rose right over here above the water, which was gorgeous. Um, so I just sat here and I watched it come up and I think I'm gonna try to get out the drone and fly that guy around and then I'm gonna head into the downtown area and explore all of the historical parts and I'm just so excited to revisit it and hit up all these different towns along the way. So I'm staying in Marblehead which is very, very close to Salem. And then I am going to Gloucester, Rockport, to Manchester by the sea. One of the great things about this whole area in general is that you can get to a lot of different beautiful coastal towns within like 45 minutes of each other, which is crazy. So I'm just really looking forward to it. I was hoping to have really nice fall November weather. It is the weekend after Halloween. So I was anticipating like big warm cozy sweaters and boots and hats and coats. <laughs> and I'm in a sweater today, um, right now anyway. I actually have a t-shirt that I am going to change into later because it's supposed to get up to 70. And all weekend it's supposed to be like that. So it's kind of funny because I was anticipating this really cool November fall chilly getaway and I almost have like summer weather which I know I should be grateful for um, I was just thrown off completely because I didn't even anticipate that being an option so um, but yeah I'm really excited to explore all of these different areas and take in like all of the gorgeous New England architecture the coastline I love everything about this area so I'm just so excited to jump in and get started
at Manchester by the sea and I just came from Singing Beach and a couple people on Instagram um, left comments saying that I should go there because I love beaches and it's just really pretty. Um, so apparently at Singing Beach, um, I tried to get video footage of it with audio to see if you could like hear it. But when you scuff your feet against the sand, um, I'm recording this on my phone by the way, so if I'm not looking like where I'm supposed to be looking, that is why. Um, when you scuff your feet on the sand, it's supposed to make a noise. And I really wanted to test it out. So not only was it gorgeous there, so much prettier than I was anticipating for some reason, um, it actually does sing. It's very subtle and you have to kind of scuff your feet in just the right position but you can definitely hear it. And I don't know if my camera picked up the audio or not, but it was really cool. So I very much enjoyed that. And I'm just ending my day taking this really nice little walk through Manchester by the sea. Um, I stopped at this park because I saw a couple of photo opportunities that I wanna go take advantage of. And then I think I might walk into town. And because the sun sets at 4.30, I think that might be my entire day. <laughs> I might have to go home after that because it will be dark. Today's my last full day here on the North Shore and tomorrow I head home. Um, but before I head home, I'm going to be stopping in Plum Island in Newburyport. So I'm very excited for that. So I still have a lot to look forward to.